Hello, this is Kara, and this is DIY on the House. I am so excited that you are wanting to learn how to crochet. I personally learned how to crochet when I was in about second grade. Uh, between my mom and my friend Joni, I picked it up. Over the years, I have just continued to love the craft of crocheting. In fact, I just finished a baby blanket, which we have a video on the channel of how to do this uh, baby blanket. Love it. It uses a half shell stitch, which you might not know what that means now, but by the end of this video, you'll understand how you can do all of these stitches. Um, even made a shopping bag. I love um, this shopping bag. I love doing afghans, different patterns. Uh, here's some pictures of things throughout the house, uh, curtains, doilies. With crocheting, the sky is the limit. So through this video, I'm gonna teach you the basics of how to crochet. If you have questions throughout, comment below and I will answer your questions. But in the meantime, let's get started. Before I get started on some of the basics of crocheting, I wanted to talk about some of the tools. These are uh, my crochet hooks. This is how I organize them. This is actually just a placemat that I got from the thrift store, folded it up and sewn uh, different lines on it because uh, crochet hooks come in different sizes. This one uh, is a size H, which is kind of right in the middle. The higher the alphabet, the larger the crochet hook. So here is a J. So this is a J crochet hook. And you can see that the neck and the uh, end is just quite a bit bigger. You also have little tiny, tiny ones. And these ones go by numbers. This is an eight and it is just really, really tiny. The reason you would have tiny crochet hooks is that's when you crochet with thread. Uh, there's uh, different kinds of materials that you can crochet with. This is thread. This is cotton uh, yarn, and this is uh, real common to use for dishcloths. Um, and uh, the shopping bag that I showed at the beginning of the video, I used uh, this cotton yarn. And then you just have standard yarn. And the yarn itself even comes in a whole bunch, bunch of different sizes. So that's um, uh, more than out of the scope of this video, but I just wanted to show you some of the differences. So we today we are going to use uh, just yarn and I think I'm going to do a little bit bigger of a hook so that you can uh, see what's going on so I'm going to uh, go ahead and use a J hook. When you begin crocheting anytime you uh, start a row or start a project you need to make a slip knot on your hook. So just make a slip knot you get a tail that is about four to six inches long so here is my tail and you just draw it around your thumb and your index finger. You twist and you pull up the yarn, not the tail. Pull up the yarn and you have made a slip knot. Insert in your crochet hook and just pull it up snugly. I always hold my thread down a, a, along the hook. The way I hold the crochet hook, I hold it knuckles to the sky. So when I'm crocheting, I am doing this motion. I'm holding it between my thumb and index finger with my knuckles uh, upward. You can also hold it like you're doing a spoon. This is how my mom crochets, and she holds it this way. I never got the hang of that, so it's whatever is more comfortable for you. So to start with, I'm going to teach you how to do a chain. There are dozens and dozens of different crochet stitches, but most of them stem from knowing a few of the basics. So I'm going to teach you the basics today. So to start with, I keep the tail out of the way. And in your off hand, you need to keep tension on your yarn. And the way I do that is I weave it through my pinky, ring finger, and index finger, and there you have tension on your yarn hand. So do it again. Pinky, ring finger, middle finger, around the index finger. I use my thumb and middle finger to hold the project near the hook. So we're gonna start by crocheting. So you have the hook and you have the tension. You draw up the yarn and you pull it through the loop on the hook. So you wrap it around, pull it through the hoop, uh, excuse me, the loop on the hook. 
and we're going to pull it through and we're going to pull it through. I'm just going to keep doing this a few times and then I'll show you, I'll lay it down so that you can see what you have done. You're going to pull it over and draw it through the hoop, the loop, I keep saying hoop, draw it through the loop on the hook. Okay, I'm going to lay this down so that you can see what you've done. Get the yarn out of the way. So these are chains. And let's, uh, let's count these. So here's where you started. So here is one chain, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And the reason I do that is because most all crochet patterns will say chain 20, chain 100. If you're doing an afghan, you might be chaining several hundred. And you need to be able to count how far you went. So that is a visual of how to count the chain. The next stitch that I'm going to show you is the single crochet. And you'll read on your crochet pattern to single crochet in the second chain from the hook and just as I had counted it to you now you can go the other direction so here is the first chain and here is the second chain so to do a single crochet you simply put the end of your hook through the chain on here you put it through the end of the hook and the same thing you did on chaining you pull it through that chain. So you're not pulling it through two of them right now, you're just pulling it through the one. Then you put it over your hook just like you were when you're chaining and you pull through two. So that is a single crochet. You simply stick it in to the base row and on this case it or into the row. On this case it's the chain. So we're going to pull it and draw it through the chain. We're going to draw it over and pull it through two. Again, we're doing a single crochet. Stick it through the chain, draw it through one, and now draw it through two. We're going to stick it through the chain, draw it through one, and draw it through two. I am going to go ahead and complete this row, so then I'll show you how to count your single crochets. It's really important on crocheting to have the right numbers. Uh, when I was probably, I'm guessing I was probably 11, 10 or 11, I made an afghan for the county fair and it was super curvy. I mean, it, it was all over the place. And this was for 4-H and um, I, gave, I had to sit and explain my project to the judge and he asked, is it curve in intentionally? I tell you, I was so embarrassed. So from that day on, I learned it's very important to count your stitches. So these are single crochets. You can see, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. That is exactly what you need. So we did 10 chains. We came into the second one on the hook. And so there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So wonderful. So you've done that just perfect. So if your pattern says, um, now do another row, chain one. So I'm going to pretend the pattern says chain one. So you know how to chain. There's a chain. And turn your project. So I've now turned it. The project is going to my left. So you can see where you're going to go right there. This time I'm going to stick the, uh, the hook through both chains on that row. There might be a time where it says put it through one loop uh, to create a different effect. But for basic um, instruction today we're going to go through both and we're going to continue with single crochet. I'm going to stick it through both of those, draw my loop, and draw through two. Stick it through both of those, draw my loop, and pull it through two. Again, the single crochet, you are just pulling it back once through your base row and then through both of the loops on your hook. I'm going to continue down to the end so you can see where you need to finish this off. 
Okay, so we're down to the end, and this was created by the um, going to the second chain on the hook. So I am going to go ahead and continue there, and we're going to lay down this, and we're going to count to see if I did this right. So we're going to look at the top here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and your beginning uh, chain one counts as the nine. So you have successfully crocheted two rows of single crochet. Now we're going to do the next one is the double crochet. It is um, to start a row on a double crochet. It usually either says to chain two or three. So today we're going to chain two. So here's one, two, and then it'll say turn your project. So we're going to turn our project we are not going to put a stitch in that very first one because you will end up with an afghan that is really curvy at the county fair. So that you skip that one because this one here can, um, will can, uh, count as that stitch. A double crochet, super simple. Um, it's just uh, one more step. You, instead of inserting it first, you wrap the yarn around one time, then you insert it into the chain or the row below and you've pulled up one now you wrap it over and you pull up two you wrap it over and you pull up two to do a double crochet you put it over the first time before you stick it into your your base row and you put it through and you draw up that loop you draw it through twice or two hoops two loops and draw it through the next two loops wrap it over first draw it up through the loop, draw it through two, draw it through two, put it over, stick it through, draw up your loop, draw up two, and draw up two. Wrap it over, pull up your loop, pull two, pull two. I'm getting down here to the end and again this is the one that is created by your turning of a row so this is considered a stitch down below so we're going to wrap that over and we're going to go into that stitch and again I'm going to count to see if I did this correctly so here we have one two three four five, six, seven, eight, and your beginning chain three counts as nine. The bigger the stitch, the easier to count it. You can also count it on the top. Let me turn that a little bit. You can count and you can count where the V is there. So here you'd have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and this is nine. So let's do one last row of that. To go on to a new row, we're going to chain our two. One, two. We're going to turn. Yep, having trouble getting my uh, tension there. So do this in case you forgot. You wrap it that way and around the index finger. We're skipping this one because that is what was created um, down below or by these two chains. That will be count as that stitch. So here is the double crochet. I wrapped it over first. Wrap it over first. I'm gonna go ahead and finish this row so you that you can see visually what the different effect a single and a double crochet. Okay, I'm getting down to the end. This is the chain that was counted on the or made when I turned. I go ahead and I put a stitch there. Gonna get tired of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and lay that down so you can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This last one is nine. So look at the difference there. I'm gonna try to zoom in a little. 
There's a little closer look. The single crochets are shorter rows. You can see there's um, not as much air between your stitches on a single crochet. A double crochet is taller, so you have more gaps in between. But because we counted, you can see that it makes a square project. And uh, I might have got a blue ribbon if my edges were straight like that. So we're gonna go a little further and I'm gonna show you a couple of variations so that with this knowledge, you can make a pattern. A few of the variations that you can do with these two stitches, I, I don't know that I would count chain as a stitch. Um, so if you want to, it could be three stitches, but a single crochet and a double crochet, the combination of those two stitches can make some pretty fun patterns. So I'm going to do a couple different things here. So I want to start with a double crochet. So at the end of that row, I'm going to chain two and I'm going to turn the project. I am going to go ahead and put a double crochet in the first sti stitch. Now I'm going to chain one. This creates a gap, so I am going to skip the chain down below and I'm going to put a double crochet in the next hole, the next uh, chain. So there's a gap. So we have two double crochets and a chain one. So I'm gonna do another double crochet here. So now you have two, chain one, two. I'm gonna chain one again. And because I chained one, I am going to uh, skip one and do this here on the end, or on the next uh, stitch. So there's one and there's two. And so obviously I am just illustrating some of the different stitches um, available. So this isn't going to be an even pattern, but if I didn't put a stitch in this last one, it would not be even. So I am going to go ahead and put my stitch, even though that means there's three. We're gonna lay down, get tired of this um, with me, but I'm gonna count it for you. So here's one, two, three. This counts as four, five, six, seven, eight and nine. So that will just be a cute way how you can uh, make a pattern. So now pretend I wanna go back to a single crochet. I do a chain one to start my row and I don't go into this one because my chain one, I don't go into the very first one because the chain one is gonna be a stitch there. Single crochet, you do not wrap it over ahead of time. You just simply put it in, draw it up, draw it through, put it in, draw it up, draw it through. I've came to my chain one spot. I want to continue a, a full row, no gaps on this one. I'm going to put it through the hole itself and draw it up. Put it through the next chain or next uh, stitch, draw it up, the next stitch, draw it up. I am to the chain put it through the hole, draw it up, put it through the next stitch, draw it up, oh, need to get more yarn here, and put it in the last stitch, because you have to end up on this little sample we're doing here, every row will have nine stitches. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. I think you have uh, got the gist of the single crochet and the double crochet. I'm gonna quickly tell you some because you're like, man, I am master in this carrot and I want to take it one more level. So if you wanna take it one more level, I'm gonna show you two more stitches. I'm going to show you a um, half double crochet. I, to start a half double crochet, I'm gonna go ahead and chain two. Each pa pa uh, pattern might have a different variation for you. So I chain two, I start it just like any other. I'm not gonna go on that first hook, just like any other double crochet. I put it over first, I stick it through the chain, and I draw up my loop. Now, instead of going through two and two again, I draw it through all three on the hook that is a half double crochet. So I'm going to put it over just like I'm doing a double crochet, pull up the loop, pull it through all three on the hook. I'm going to continue the row, put it through as if I'm doing a double crochet, pull it through all three to do a half. I'm going to continue the row with half double crochets, I'm 
I'm down to the end. I need to put a stitch in that one there and finish it off with a half double crochet. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's really, when you're looking at it, you can see the air in between the double crochet, the singles tight, the half is just kind of a little bit of a variation of that. I have to say, uh, I, I have to say a half, I have to say a half double crochet is a really good variation to a project. So I am even going to take it one more level for you and show you how you can combine these stitches. So I'm going to do, do chain two to turn my row and I am going to start with a half double crochet and I pull it through all three. Then I'm going to do a double crochet. On a, a double crochet you start it again, you pull through one, pull through two, pull through two. Now I'm going to go back to a half double crochet, wrap it over the, um, just as if you're doing a double, and you pull it through all three. Back to a double, a half. The half you pull it all the way through. Now a double, and a half and I have one stitch left here, I'm going to end with a double. This is a great, great combination of stitches to use when you're doing dish towels and you're using your cotton thread. To go through that combination, it gives it a really nice variation. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So no matter what the stitch is, single, double, half, Always make sure that you have nice square edges and uh, to finish off a row, if you're going to change color, I just simply leave a three to four inch tail, draw it through, snug it off, and then weave your end in so that you can start a new color. Here is where you ended your row. You can kind of fill your little knot in there. You put your hook into that same stitch. It, sometimes it's super tight, you can't get your hook in there, but putting it in the general spot is just fine. Draw up your stit or your yarn, and now you can start again. So uh, for illustration, let's start with a single crochet. So I'm gonna chain one, turn my project, and I'm going to do a single crochet. Now I'm going to get a little wild and crazy and instead of another single crochet we'll do a half double crochet. So here's a half double crochet then a single. There's a half and there's a single. Here's a half and here's a single going to get down here we have the last one and it's going to end it with a half and guess what I'm going to do I am going to count the stitches so we have one two three four five six seven eight and your beginning chain is nine so I think that with that information you should be able to make some really good projects in no time at all. Okay. Hopefully all of that uh, instruction made sense. Again, I truly, truly love crocheting. I do it on road trips, I do it while we're watching TV in the evenings. It is just a wonderful pastime for me. So I hope you enjoy it as much. Uh, if you wouldn't mind, give me a thumbs up and subscribe and tune into the channel for more videos on patterns on how to crochet and other DIY tips. So thank you so much for joining DIY on the house.